Okay, so now it's finally time to go into the arena. But uh, first, let's talk to Seren. You know what this place is, right? Huh? No, can't say I do. Oh, really? <sighs> Still, you're a guy, right? I know how it is. <laughs> you have uh, a certain <clears throat> needs from <clears throat> time to time. Uh, uh, Seren. But don't you worry. When you feel the urge, this is the place to sort yourself out. I know, I know, everyone's embarrassed their first time. But once you get the hang of it, you'll be back for more. I, I, I really don't think... Oh, don't be such a scaredy cat. You'll never get any better if you don't practice. Go on, be a man and get stuck in. Here at the arena! Arena? Yeah! Nothing like a good old fight. Why? What did you think it was? Oh, I do love the humour of this game sometimes. <laughs> it's that, I, I think that's just a, one of the many reasons that I love Saran. She's just kind of so kind of ballsy and really doesn't give a crap about anything and that just makes her hilarious. Especially when she says stuff like that to the slightly, slightly prim and proper Zale. He's always generally very polite with everything. But yes, here we have the arena and we have commentators as well, it's brilliant. Ready. So I'll let the... Yes, I'll let Franklin and so on describe what's happening. <laughs> Now, Franklin, who is the commentator here, um, is voiced by James Barriscale, um, who is Richard Clutterbuck in, in Assassin's Creed 3, to keep warm, amongst other they? things. I'll do more Looks set like shortly. A defensive formation. They're using magic to gain a strategic advantage. We've got to take out that mage. As experienced fighters, I'm sure Team Zale already have a strategy worked out. Whilst Franklin goes into things, um... He played Kez Wingfield in Diana, The Last Days of a Princess, which is a TV movie. Uh, the real Gabriel Kent, Vince Foster and Vint in The Bill. Uh, um, yes, he was in other things as well, but I think those are the main things uh, that uh, James Barriscale, who Vincent Franklin, was in. I'd say, I don't think Jeffrey has a uh, voice credit. So, I'll, I'll assume, well, I won't assume anything because that would be a very bad idea and make me look like an idiot. Um, so, yeah, the, the arena is excellent for levelling up, although it will only really level up the characters you're using until other people have a battle and then they should gain that experience. Now Slash is a very helpful move, um, I probably should have used it more often whilst in... Um, I should have used it more, but oh well. Now at the end of kind of every battle you'll get healed, it's something that it, well, is it basically what happens in battle anyway. Um, but it's very helpful here, because some of these battles can be challenging. Um, either way, 
The goal is literally just get through all the rooms and kill everything. Not too difficult to understand. I hate spiders as well. It's tough to hurt them if you strike from in front. Got to get behind them or use magic. You can leave the magic to me, so just watch my back, okay? And watch out for that big guy, Zell. He'll crush you if you're not careful. So, Jeffrey, any predictions for this next battle? Good question, Franklin. This team have a real fire in their eyes. They remind me of my own younger days. <laughs> So, yeah, this, this battle can be slightly difficult. Your best tactic is to kind of try and go around, mop out, well, mop up all of the uh, enemies that aren't necessarily the spiders and the gladiator, and then focus on them. The, until sometimes you'll end up like that and you're just gonna have to try and deal with it. And yeah, I hate spiders. I mean, I know I'm not attacking correctly and all, but still. The fact that the guard from the front is just like, no, I want to hit you with my sword. Oh yeah. Well, of course. So there is our first time at the arena done and dusted, um, which is very good. Now you can go back in and redo season one of the arena, um, and from this point you do get to choose who you take in with you. Um, you get four people, um, but whether you want to do that is up to you. I'd say we did a fine job. But is this all the prize money we get? Here, Zale, you can have it. Buy yourself something nice. Really? Thanks. Call it a present from Auntie Seren to celebrate little Zale's first arena victory. Seren's handing out cash for something that's not alcohol. Somebody call a doctor. Don't go wasting it, yeah? I'll make sure I spend it wisely. Doctor! Is there a doctor in the house? Well, let's do this again sometime. I'm gonna have a wander. I'll see you back at the tavern. Sounds good. Doctor! Doctor! And still they ignore me. You know, that really hurts, guys. Lowell, I said I'm going for a wander. Let's go already. Oh dear, Seren and Lowell. The sexual tension is just unbelievable. <laughs> now, uh, pretty much all we can do right now is uh, head to the Castle Gate Plaza. Or maybe we can do the... Uh, I think Ow, it's Castle Gate Plaza and then a few more side quests may or may not open up. Maybe. I can't remember, to be honest. Oh, okay, never mind. We, we can do this, um... Side quest, I believe. Um, we just need to get to the right side of the river. Which is always helpful. Um... Basically, we're looking for a, um... Guy, kid, person who is uh, standing at the edge of a pier. Um, I believe it's okay. It's on the other side. Um, and basically, he um unlocks the frogs for the party. Is that the feeling this stuff is... 
um, side quest, which allows you to uh, increase your speed. But obviously, you've got to get to um, him first. Slightly irritating, making trying to get to the right bits on the river, but I guess it can't be helped. This especially doesn't help when I'm going kind of ass backwards way of trying to find them. But here we go, here's the person who's going to te tell us about the frogs. He's a frog lover, as you can tell. So now what we have to do is go speak to the fortune teller, and the fortune teller will tell us the location of a frog. So, wooden decking along the river, so we've got to, uh, get on to the wooden decking by the river. Um, now, annoyingly, you've, you've got to sneak up behind the frogs, um, and not scare them away, which is slightly easier said than done, um, but you get used to it once you've figured out how you do it. Now, in um, certain cases, uh, they do kind of reappear, um, but in other cases i found that they don't kind of want to, um, and it's, it's, it's annoying that you have to get six, I believe, um, to unlock the power that he's going to teach us, um, which is it's just like, no, why are you making me do this? And the frog is on the other side. Typical. <laughs> yeah, Lazlo City is quite big. So... Finding everything can be a bit challenging. Especially the frogs. But w what can you do? It's meant to be like a real bustling city, you can hardly help it if it, it sometimes feels a wee bit too big for its own good. Now I know I didn't mention um, the prank bananas when I ran into them the first time, but um, the guy who sits on the bench by the arena will Watch give you prank going. bananas when you give him a single banana. Um, and you can use them to trip people up, which, um, as well as being incredibly funny to watch, um, it can also help you in unlocking stuff. Um, because the more people that you trip over, um, you can get special prizes from a uh, certain person that we will be meeting very soon. Now, that was what happened, or what you shouldn't do. Um, you definitely should not walk at a frog from the side, because they'd run away. Um, however, if you uh, make sure to go from the behind, um, then you're generally okay. Now, I think you can potentially go quicker than I'm going to pick them up, um, but I'd rather just take it slow, make sure I actually do grab the froggy. And I have to say, that frog was surprisingly small once we picked it up. Um, but yeah, so every frog you pick up is plus agility, party agility plus five. You can kind of grab more frogs than are needed to get the um, prize, but Depends whether you want all that extra party agility, which isn't necessarily really helpful. Now, the only way to get the fortune teller to give you more stuff and tell you where more frogs are is to go on to either Lazarus Road or back into Ariella's Tavern um, and then exit again. It's slightly annoying that you have to do that to get her to tell you where new stuff is. But it can't really be helped annoyingly. Yep, 
Either way, after collecting lots of frogs, I, I cut out a bit there because it, it takes a while and there's no point in making you sit through that. There is more point in making you sit through me wandering aimlessly around Lazarus City. Because then you get to see the layout and you get to see all the nooks and crannies. Um, in comparison to me failing to attempt to find a frog. Now, this froggy here is quite easy to catch. And there's one that sometimes pops up behind Ariella's tavern. Um, but that one's difficult to get around without scaring it. Um, and I don't think that one respawns. Which is frustrating, but what can you do? I got the feeling this stuff is the... Anyway, these things that you find around Lazuli City, they do respawn. So if you will want to pick them up, do so, because you will find them very, very frequently. And it gives you more points, so go for it. I got the feeling this stuff is... So I believe now we are just kind of running around to uh, get to the frog lover again. Now, I believe this is Windy Alley. Um, and essentially a good thing that you can do is um, just kind of sit and have sea count and then the wind, as you follow the wind, um, you can pick up items from it, um, which could be good for you. I believe you, you can get some decent items from it. Um, also, you can get the party stat increases as well, um, which are always quite helpful. But here we go, we caught... well, okay, it's not six, it's three, but I think you can get a maximum of six. Not ten. Um, but basically this allows you to dive into the river. Um, this disgustingly, probably, sewage filled river. Um, hopefully he, Zale doesn't get pneumonia. But essentially this is required for a side quest and also access to a person who is uh, quite potentially useful for you. Um, he is, well, you could call him the old man on the river. Um, essentially you've got to swim all the way to the end of the river. and It has to be the east side of the river. Um, and you can get to his shack, and basically he will give you items depending on how many times you've bumped your head, how many times you've fallen over, how many people you've caused to fall over, how many people you've bumped into, and so on and so forth. Um, also means that you can access the uh, stats thing that's on that um, platform there, if you want it. Now, the side quest isn't going to unlock for a while. It's also a, a very difficult side quest that I'm warning you now I'm not going to be able to complete. Um, and it's literally just through one of those gates there, but I'll let you... I'll point out how you get into it and uh, everything, but uh, don't me expect me to complete it. Now, this is the old man of the river, um, so he gives you items for all sorts. Um, so yeah, you basically need to bump and stumble a lot to get things. Um, and because this game has a new game plus, um, if you go into that, then you can um, everything, all of that information carries over. I think so. You can get even more stumps and stumbles and bumps and so on and so forth. Huh. 
But yes, I think that is get the feeling this stuff about is all of the side quest stuff we can do now. Finally. There was a bit more than I remember there being. Well, not more than I remember there being, but more than I thought there was a little while ago. So if you uh, head over to Castle Gate Plaza from this angle, you will uh, launch into the meeting with Dagron and story. Yay. Really him, General Astor. Wow, so that's the legendary general. He's never been defeated, pride of the Empire. There's some big names arriving. I tell you, this wedding is going to be one to tell the grandkids. The knights look so heroic and majestic. I'll be a knight too one day, no matter what it takes. Yeah, it's not much plot, but it it's going to get started. Don't you worry. <laughs> Looks like it's almost sundown. I'm going back to the tavern. What about you? All right. Don't stay out too late. So at this point, you can cho choose back to go straight to the tavern, but um, you can also say to go back later, um, which you're gonna want to do if you want to get access to a few extra conversations and also if there are any other side quests that you want to do. Um, generally I'd probably recommend trying to get things done as they turn up, um, but there you go. Also, here's Morania! It's beautiful. These are lifeless fragments of the dying land. As the land withers away, it fades to a pale bone white and crumbles into these fragments. It's very sad. Um, but yes, if you uh, want to see that little cutscene, then you select go back later, and then it's time to just head into Ariella's tavern and. Uh, Get us all the way into the night. Oh yeah.